Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another adventure with Laszlo's Vintage BBG. Um, today, I'm going to be doing some waxing on this 1958 bug. Um, I've already sort of started. You can see this is what it looks like. I'm sure the camera can catch it. Nice and dull, this hood, this fender. Um, I took the time and did most of it. I didn't want to bore you guys with me waxing this car. Plus, I didn't know how long it would take. Um, I've used the product before. Um, I'll show you the product right now. It's called TR3. Very, very good product. Very, very easy to use within 10 minutes. I did all by hand. You can do a fender in five minutes, quarter panel. I'm gonna show you a little walk around of the car so you guys can see. And then I'll show you a little bit more about the product. And this is the 58 uh, right-hand drive that I recently got. Um, the dash was always so beautiful and so I wanted to bring the outside paint sort of to match. Um, I am going to be keeping it patina but the paint I knew could save for sure. Um, also about this product, it makes it so it's nice and smooth. Where I live is sort of in a beachy community, not on the beach. So we get a lot of mist and dew that comes down and lays on it and this car has to sit outside. So I sort of worry about that. But um, you can see the shine compared to the front that it gives it like all the way down the side. It works amazing. I've used it on multiple cars on my 64 Ghia that I have, the ragtop car that I, not ragtop, sorry, the one with the roll cage. I ended up trading that car for this. So here's a quick walk around and then uh, I'll show you a little bit more about the product. You can see here is a good difference. I did the quarter panel. I actually missed a couple spots, but it, you can see that I actually got it on right here. So you can see a difference of a color for sure. But I saved the hood, the fender, and part of the apron so you guys can see. Well, I'm going to set you guys down, go grab the product, and tell you a little bit more about that. They aren't sponsoring me or anything like that. I'm not that cool yet. Um, but it is a great product, so I enjoy it. Let me show you. So here's the product. It's called TR3 Resin and Glaze. Um, I used to be able to get it in California on Amazon, but now they say they're out, so I've had to order it from out of state or maybe somewhere else to get it in. Um, super, super, super good product. I love it. Um, it works out amazing. I'm going to show you on this hood and on the fender uh, what a difference it makes. And like I said, it takes about five minutes. Um, it's a little bit sunny, so it's probably going to dry fast. Um, also wanted to say, if you like what you guys are seeing, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell. Um, also, don't know if you guys know, I saw a lot of new and used Volkswagen parts to help support my Volkswagen habit. So if you guys ever need anything, my number's right here on the back. You guys can feel free to give me a call and uh, we'll go from there. You can use a rag, you can use whatever you want, but for me, I'm just gonna use a nice simple sponge that I like. I do put a good amount of it on there. You will start at the top and we'll work our way down. I usually do a couple dabs. And then go around. For where the emblem is, I'm going to use a small rag so I can get in those crevices. Like I said, it's a little bit hot right now. Um, I usually like to do this when it's a little bit more overcasty. It seems to do a little bit better. And seems to go a lot longer, meaning that it goes a longer way, meaning you don't use as much and it doesn't dry as fast. I'm almost out too. I did have to order another just in case because I like to always have this on hand. Half of the hood, so you can see 
an actual difference of one half to another half. So I'm not wasting time. I'm gonna start on the fender and let this dry a little bit. And then come back to the other half. And you can see very easy to wipe on very easy to use in the smaller areas like in between all this I like to use a rag this works out much better for me going to go to the fender while well, I let this dry up a little bit and then I'll wipe it down so you can see the difference. This fender is going to be just perfect because it's got shade on this side so it's the right temperature. I usually don't like it when the fender is hot and I can feel it with touch to the skin because I waited too long when I was doing the other parts of the car, but it'll still come out good. Like I said, it's just gonna accelerate the movement of how this worked, meaning it's gonna go a lot faster than I want it to go. specific sponge. I do like this. It's good for your wrist. I have bad arm, bad back, so I'm doing the best I can. Make sure I get all the way down into this fender. As you can see over here, guys, it's starting to glaze up a little bit. See how it's starting to get foggy? So it's actually pretty close. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. I'm just using an older towel that I have to wipe it down. Nothing special. It, uh, the sponge kit did come with a nice cloth, but don't want to go get it. So once again, we went just halfway through. This is what it looked like. This is what it's going to look like after. So let me show you in about two to three minutes, I would guess. other YouTuber friends of mine, Mike Finn, he has a channel, he's a good guy, E.W. Shirako, the tinkering guy, check out their channels also, those are super cool guys, I'm going to show you up front so you can see what it looks like, so check this out, that took about, what, 
five minutes of time. Look at the difference from one side to this side. You can use this by your hand. You could have this whole car if you are good done in 30 minutes. Um, I'm gonna finish this hood up, do that fender and show you guys the end result. That's my dog barking. I always put it directly to the pad. You can just put it on the car. I've seen a lot of people do that too. But this is how I've always done it. So I'm just gonna stick to doing it like that. Go over a few nice little spots that I missed, of course. Like I said, I mean, you can see how long it's taking me. This is no editing. I don't do much editing. I just have fun with it because I think that's what you should do. This shouldn't be a job. You should be doing this for fun, enjoying it. If you made it a job, cool, even better. But for me, man, I just enjoy working on these cars. It keeps my sanity safe. It keeps me loving them. And if anybody else can use a little part of what I've shown you and can make their day better, their car better, let's do it. this tack up just like the other side I did. Make sure I get a couple other little spots that I think I missed down here on the apron. There's like three or four different colors down here so don't think it's gonna do much but that's okay. Alright we're done with that. Finish off that fender, wipe that down, let this tack up for a little while longer. See how it comes out, guys. Looking good. Main reason for doing this is to try to bring some of the color out. Second reason for doing this is protection. here to enjoy it. A couple of little pieces I missed right here. I'm going to have to go over them again. Also, you can use this on the chrome. Shoot. Hey guys, we had a little accident. Here we go. We had a little fall down there. My tripod decided it had enough. Well, here you guys go. I'm back. I'm no this off so you guys can 
guys can get a good look and then we'll call it quits on this video. Finish this little side. Wipe this down. Once again, if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, I do this for fun, but it'd be cool to get to a, a thousand subscribers. I think I'm at like 350. 340, I think. So I'm getting closer. But once again, if you like what you see, please like, please subscribe. It helps. Um, I'm having a great time doing this. It's making my days better. Well, there you guys go. Once again, this is Laszlo's Vintage BBG. I hope you like what you're seeing. Let me know if you think this is cool. Please comment below. Tell me if you've used other items, other different compounds that maybe do a better job. I'd like to check them out. Thanks again. See you next time.